Hi, my name is Marvin Thompson. And just like many of you, I had experienced many challenges in life, um, specifically through my journey in education. My senior year, I was told I could no longer attend my traditional high school, which was Diamond Ranch. And so at that point, I had to go to Pono Adult School. And I felt bad. I felt bad because I knew that I felt my mother. My mother always wanted me to achieve and excel beyond any of those who came before me and my family. And at that point, I had to take ownership of my faults. And I was approached by Jerry Bryant, and he informed me about the GED program. And at that point, I was 17, so I was not able to place myself into that. My mom hated the GED. Even though hate is a strong word, she was really, really against it. Once I was enrolled into the GED program, I took the placement test. The first time I took the test, I didn't even try my best. I got fourth grade, fifth grade, and third grade placement in English, reading, and math. Jerry Bryan told me to come back and to make sure that I tried my best. And at that point, I did. I, I was placed in 12th grade reading, 11th grade math, and 10th grade English. And I, I knew that I was not pushing myself to my best abilities. And I was thankful for him to show me that I could actually excel and achieve anything that I put my mind to. And so that, at that point, I believed in myself. Before then, I did not have that confidence such as many of you guys may not have in your, in your abilities to perform well in school. I took the GED the first time and I passed it with above average on every single score. At that point, my sister took me to Mount San Antonio College where she was gonna graduate. She literally walked my hand and carried me through that process. I did not know what to do and I was scared. I thought that it was gonna be a big room full of white people and Asians and I was gonna be the only black student in that classroom. But I have it was different. I went to Mount San Antonio College and she pushed me literally into my first classroom. And I was welcomed by a teacher with open arms and students <laughs> who were culturally diverse. And it just made me feel comfortable. So when I took that seat, um, I felt confirmed in my ability to perform. And I received my first A um, in my first class at community college. And I continued to excel. I was in, in, um, became an honor student, a, a member of Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society, and also a member of Alpha Gamma Sigma the chapter, um, Honor Society chapter in California. And I was able to obtain jobs. Growing up in Pomona, um, I was a victim to the streets as well, as many of you guys may think that you guys um, may become, but that's not the way. And once I became educated, I seen that there was a different path for myself, and I became aware of the self-fulfilling prophecy. A self-fulfilling prophecy is when you are labeled as a student. You're told that you cannot perform as well as you as you, as you possibly can. Um, you cannot get the A's and B's as other students. And so you then internalize that. You think of yourself as one who cannot perform and get A's and B's in class. And then you begin to carry out that action by not doing your homework, not going to school. And you just fall into the loophole. And that was me. Um, that's, that self fulfilling prophecy was broken once I was at Mount Sap. The staff, faculty, and administration believed in me. They supported me and mentored me. And there is where I, I became aware of the importance of mentorship. And since I encountered that, I've committed myself to come back to my community of Pomona to mentor those who could come in after me in hopes that they will lead the change that we need to see in this community. I am not the one who can facilitate it. You guys are. And I hope that you guys can be the voice for the future.